cops trying to arrest real gangsters. <laughs> All sorts of criminals, from complete beginners to wannabe thugs. But what happens when the person they have to arrest is actually a real gangster? Right oh! No! 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 no. He was dragging. Wait, 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 wait. What's going on here? Gangster. Wait, how did he get to him that fast just now? the fuck he just teleported or anything here are four times seasoned criminals tried to outplay cops during their arrest starting with this crime duo who have outran the police more than once and are still doing so till this day on july 29th 2020 so, i mean they ain't get caught in this video the cleveland police department pulled up to a small gas station the reason they were looking for these two ready where you going bud come here <laughs> where you going bud come here the two unnamed suspects had just fled from a traffic stop with no intention of talking to the police. Stop walking away. Stop walking away. Hands out your pocket. Hands out your pocket. Go like this. Got anything on you, man? No. Stop running. Why the fuck? Okay. All right. Bro, if you knew you was going to run from him, why would you walk up to him in the first place, bro? I don't understand. Like, you should have just ran from the beginning. You walked up to him. Got on you, man. Oh. Stop running. Now, the officer is being led on an intense foot chase through the neighborhood nearby. But no matter how hard he tries, the suspect is just a bit too fast for him to keep up with. He's out of here. 114, regalia. White t-shirt. Red shorts. He's running north on 133 from Regalia. He's running east on Kinsman. Meanwhile, his partner is up ahead, closing the gap between him and the suspect. And it seems like he's got a decent shot at catching up. I go on. Uh oh. Uh oh. As the chase leads him to the main road, a getaway vehicle starts flying towards them. Knowing that this was the make or break moment, the cop grabs onto the Wait up. in the car. Right Wait up, W man's. Oh. <laughs> yo, bro, he had the whole. Yo, he had his face like this. Despite his best attempts at hanging on, there's only so far you can get dragged by a speeding vehicle. So the officer had to let go, not just of the suspect, but at the idea of arresting these two criminals. But while these two may have taken the usual approach of running away from the cops, there are other criminals who have their own special strategies, like this prison escapee who got away from the police using nothing but his own words. I promise you I'm not no damn prison escapee. You'd have done wrong by now. On cop. April 5th, 2006, Rick had by now? put his lying skills you just know because you're a cop, right? He confronted by this police officer by a railway track in Pollock, Louisiana. The police officer was currently on the lookout for a prisoner that had just escaped the United States Penitentiary nearby, and he actually found him, but he just didn't know it yet. You live around here, bud? No. Where you live at? Down the road by uh, Pineville. Pineville? Uh-huh. Okay. Do you have any form of identification on you? No, man. What's your name? Robert Jones. Robert Jones. Uh huh. I'm not supposed to be on the track. I don't have an address. I'm at the hotel. We're working on uh, houses and stuff like that. Roofing. Roofing. Yep. Okay. For my brother. What is? We got an escapee. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Where from? Uh, prison. There's a prison here? Yeah. Huh. Just a few seconds of conversation was all it took hey. for the officer to second. I would have like, all right, like, why are you telling me that for, bro? I'm not him. I would have dipped. Like, they sat there awkward. That made it, like, kind of weird, bro. Like, you sat there so awkward in silence just now. It's like, that would have made the cop, like, like, why are you, like, I don't understand, bro. I was just like, um, okay. Like, <laughs> that's Richard's identity. So he starts making a few calls to try and get more information. Hey, this call. Subject wear glasses? Nothing about glasses. Can you find out? I'm out with a white male on the tracks at uh, Gilly Williams. 
After verifying a few things, it seems like the description of the escapee and Richard, or Robert as he was calling himself, doesn't match up. And slowly but surely, the cop starts to lose his suspicions. How old is that picture? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I got the same thing. You can't see shit on it. I guarantee I'm not. No you know the bad thing, thing about it? You'll match it up to him. Come on. <laughs> well, that sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. Throughout all of this, notice Richard's body language. He's swinging his arms yeah, around, it's taking obvious. swigs of his water, and walking side to side. He Those are all actions that a jogger would be doing, which makes his words all the more believable. But no. the officer isn't fully sold yet, so he keeps asking Richard questions. Uh, what are you talking about, narrator? That's not what will make it a what? That was not making it more believable, bro. That make it look like he's nervous. Isn't fully sold yet, so he keeps asking Richard questions. But like the master manipulator he is, he's able to fake a backstory on the spot. What are you saying at? That uh, Titus feel or Titus hand? Titus hand, a little old, little old. Uh, Where's that at? I don't even know that. Is. We just got into town about a week ago, and he dropped me off to jog. I always jog about 12 miles a day. Where'd he drop you off at? Up there on that road by, uh, there's some construction going on up there, some houses. Uh -huh. And he dropped me off, and uh, he'll be back to the hotel in about probably 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Who do y'all work for? It is, it is, uh, I know, what's the name Brooklyn of the company? company? Phil's Brooklyn. Okay. Where are you from? Nah, he's uh, nice with it. Dallas, Texas. I mean, that's where you. Y'all yeah, stay out of. out of Dallas, Texas. And he's so good at lying that even yeah, when he so slipped good. up and told the officer a different name, the cops still didn't notice. And what's your name again? Jimmy Jones. Throughout this conversation, no. Richard, building his trust with the officer. No way. How is he a cop? Making relevant commentary and most importantly, not showing a single ounce of fear. This confidence is what makes the officer doubt himself over and over again and keeps Richard off the hook for the small mistakes he makes in his lies. Put yourself in my position. Well, yeah, but I'm not. <laughs> I know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not you throwing you against her. <laughs> hey, you wouldn't believe what them guys do. Years and years to think about how they're going to do it. <laughs> You won't believe it. Uh, when I crossed the tracks down there, I saw you running. I said, well, how lucky can I be? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not no prison escapee. Richard knows exactly how much detail to give in his story. He's descriptive enough so that it sounds real, but not too detailed to avoid suspicion. Where's y'all's motel at? Okay, let me think now. Because like I say, uh, fuel always drives. Okay, Walmart's right there. Go right at Walmart. And there's a road, it's, is it 165? Right. 165, it goes south, and we're about two blocks. Little old tiny hotel. Yeah, you know, like a motel deal, an apartment up there. And there's, uh, we, we've got a camper, and we were trying to get into the camper place, but we didn't get into the camper place. Yet. There's a camper place between, I think, Ball, I mean, not Ball, uh, Pineville. I promise you, I'm not no damn prison escape. Here. You'd have done run by now. <laughs> You know that yourself. <laughs> You'd have done wrong by now. By this no, point, he the said no. Was already convinced, meaning Richard was about to be let go scot free. I'm sorry to have to hold you up, but. Hey, no, I'm just doing my job, man. I know you are. Be careful, you'll probably get stopped again, okay? okay. Don't don't be alarmed by it. Border, border, border. More line, yeah. Okay, you'll be on till. Well, this shift. I'll be on till we find this on the gun. Well, my dad's an auxiliary detective. You Where know, at? In Dallas. They oh, okay. Posse is what they call it. Yeah. He's 70 years old and he's been doing it since 63. He Still enjoys it. Out, yeah. After this encounter, Richard was added to the U.S. Marshal's 15 most wanted list, seeing as how he had just done the first successful prison escape since 1991. Richard managed to evade the police for months, hiding out in Canada, before finally getting captured in October 2007. But not all pro criminals get away. Even the best of the best can get caught if they aren't careful, like this notorious MS-13 gang leader, whose entire criminal empire crumbled just because of a routine traffic stop. Damn. On June 7, 2023, a state trooper in Ohio pulled over this gray car for tailgating. To him, this was just a routine traffic stop. But what he would soon find out was that this was much more than that.
The officer approached the car to find three people inside. And while usually in these situations, the focus would be on the driver, this time the passenger was the real person of interest. Hello, how you doing? You got your license on you? Got your ID on you? How you doing? Oh, good. Doing all right? Is this a rental car? Yes. Okay, did you rent it? I rent it. Okay, do you have the rental agreement on you? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm Foster Lowe's. Thank you. Does he not speak any English? No. Okay. Well, the reason I got him stopped is because he's falling too close. I'm not going to issue him a citation. It's just going to be a warning. That's because this wasn't just any other person. This was Eden Nilsson Velasquez Lauren, the alleged gang leader for the infamous Lamara Salvatrucha gang, wow. AKA MS-13. But he didn't know that yet. First, he needed to get through the standard questioning. Gotta have it back in Denver. I'm sorry? Gotta have it back in yes. Denver. Yes. Gotcha, on the 13th. Yes. Gotcha, where are you guys heading to? To New York. To New York, gotcha. What takes you to New York? Oh, that's where you're from. Yeah. What took you to Colorado? Who you work it's, for? Uh, Bear Logistics. What is it? Uh, it's Amazon Delivery. Oh, okay. I saw it said Amazon on here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So how long are you staying in New York for? Uh, five days. Five days. Yeah. What part? Long Island. Long Island? Yeah. You originally from the United States? Or? Yes. Oh, okay. How about these guys? This is when things started to fall apart because yeah. these three did not prepare ahead of time and the truth was just moments away from being exposed. Is he here on papers? Uh, who? Does he have papers? I'll be here. Like a work visa or? Tiene alguna visa, visa para trabajar? No. No? Okay. Yep. citation or anything like that. All right, I'm just going to run your information. Make sure there's no wants or warrants. Make sure you guys are loud. We'll get you out of here, okay? The cop then returns with a border patrol officer because after running their documents in the system, things were not checking out, which only meant one thing. This agent wants to speak to you. He's going to be step out, okay? I'll have you come out here real quick. Put you back here for just a second, okay? okay. Just yeah. one momento. No problem. All right. Thank you. Let's have a seat right here, okay? Okay. Eden Nilsson's true identity was soon revealed, and he was locked up on charges of ordering murders, drug distribution, and wow. all because of a tailgating traffic stop. But even though this crime lord went with the officers peacefully, that doesn't mean that other criminals do the same. In fact, there are some that Which will one was him, though? to try and escape, even if that means throwing a friend under the bus. You can look right over and you'll see him. Drop him! Woo! Drop him! Let him go! On March 29, 2023, the Albuquerque police got a call about a disturbance at the 4700 block of Glendale Road Northwest. The reasoning? Gunshots. The suspect was 32-year-old Francisco Macias, who after getting high on narcotic, reportedly started assaulting his family members and firing his gun outside. That means when officers arrived on scene, they were more than prepared for a violent situation. Oh. Oh, I don't think I can and put soon, this. There's a foot chase happening, but it doesn't go on for long. Over the fence 
and running southbound. You want me to stay with the guy in the... Francisco soon realizes there's nowhere left to run and that his friends are not on his side because not only does he have to worry about the cops, his friends are also a problem. So he decides to use one of them as a human meat shield. Pass, he's our offender, and we're checking on the other guys to see if they have any, uh, any victims. Okay, he's confronting the guy, the neighbor, in the backyard. Neighbor's lying on the ground. He's standing over him at this time. Once you get to that wall, you can look right over and you'll see him. When officers finally get in close contact with the suspect, they deploy less lethal methods before eventually using the stun gun. Oh. Francisco was brought down to the station and eventually jailed, but he didn't end up staying as he was released shortly after all the charges against him were dropped. That was crazy.